What's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again great to see you back today we will discuss another funny video on symptoms of a terrible Saturn an afflicted debilitated downtrodden unhappy miserable Saturn in your chat <laughs> and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video please click the thumbs up and watch the other videos on the Bhagavad Gita especially which I have made especially for all of you I have put around 14 videos there and I will be putting videos there if you see them more <laughs> if you do not see them I will stop making that series all right before beginning as I say God is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you overcome the effects of a terrible Saturn <laughs> again before I start this video I would say I am not making an astrological analysis of when Saturn is weak or when Saturn is debilitated or when it is afflicted of course Saturn afflicts others but Saturn also gets afflicted but the best form of astrology is observational astrology observe your own life observe your own history and your present by that you will know your future yes so what happens is even if the Saturn is well placed as per astrology then they, but if these symptoms which I am going to tell you are manifesting then that is a very strong indication that Saturn is not very well placed in your chart maybe there is some other planet which is cancelling its good effects yes and whatever symptoms I am going to tell now if none of them are present in you as a person in your life in your history in your present then it means even if your Saturn is badly placed or afflicted there is some other positive combination in the chart which is nullifying that so do not go into astrological paralysis okay when Saturn is afflicted when this happens that happens I will make that in another separate video <coughs> this video is a funny video on afflicted Saturn <laughs> What is the number one symptom of a difficult Saturn? Let's throw the bomb now. <laughs> what is the end of it all? Should I reveal it? Yes. The first trait of an afflicted, terrible, debilitated, weak, downtrodden Saturn is you always do things at the last moment. Should I repeat? You always do things at the last moment. Running around in the last moment. Oh my God, my flight is going. I have to call this person for the taxi. Why didn't you call from last three hours? But you thought it's okay, right? To not call. Maybe it will happen at the end. <laughs> that is the first symptom always doing things at the last moment what is the number two which is the second symptom you always take the easy way out should i repeat you always take the easy way out you do not like to persevere you do not have patience patience is zero in you perseverance minus <laughs> Tolerance, infinity, <laughs> one by infinity. <laughs> when I say you take easy way out, what it means that, suppose there is an example of a boy who has gone to a foreign university to study, yes, maybe master's degree, the way I am studying here in Germany. Now, if this person has a difficult Saturn, then what he will do is he will only take those subjects which are very easy to pass yes which can be passed without any difficulty without much effort without much endeavor without much struggle like in our university we have examples of uh, people who 
take seminar reports to finish their subjects to get their credits seminars it is just like a wasting time not completely but you learn something which is like not learning anything basically it means that you just write a report for a five credit subject and you just get the credits and there are so many people i know not so many but there are groups of people who i know that they are undergoing this type of a training taking seminars and passing yes and i know what is the situation of their saturn in their chart or how saturn is terribly placed in their own lives apart from their horoscopes so that is another symptom of an afflicted saturn you always take the easy way out you will always try to do things in a way that is like in hindi there is a perfect word for this can't get better than this it is known as kam chori kam chori means one who doesn't work he will always try to let it go what is another symptom another symptom is you always blame others you do not take responsibility this is huge the moment somebody points a finger at you suppose you are in a job and something was given to you and you didn't do it properly what you will do the moment you will say no 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 it was not my uh, fault it was his fault uh, somebody else did it i didn't do it it was not my fault it was somebody else's fault if only that person would have not done it then maybe things would have been difficult different yes and these traits will manifest everywhere even when you start practicing spirituality then also this will manifest you start behaving in ways which make people confuse that oh my god this person is into some practice or not what is another trait another trait is you always run to other people for your own work should i repeat you always run behind others to get your work done i am not talking of a manager here but these people i have seen they will always be asking everybody okay how to do this how to do that how to do this how to do that how to do this how to do that typical symptom i am telling you typical now that can be understood if your jupiter mercury is not very well placed that you somehow don't understand what things are yes that can happen if jupiter mercury is not very well placed but what i am talking here is i am talking of saturn here which is what consistency and all these things these people will always go to their peers friends seniors juniors colleagues and then they will, they will say oh how to do this how to do that these people can be spotted in our whatsapp group very easily the moment they need something instead of going in google and doing the hard work taking out the effort taking out the time to search in google what they will do is they will go and post in a facebook group or they will post in the whatsapp group hey do you know this once or twice you have done it that's different but if you are doing it every time anything you need you want to know about the railway ticket go to the website and check but you you will not do that do that what you will do you will ask your friend hey do you know how to do this hey do you know what to do here hey do you know how to do this do you know how to do that do you know do you know do you know do you know <laughs> everybody knows everything except you right and everybody knows about you also <laughs> these people can be very easily spotted in a organization yes it's very easy to spot them what is another symptom of a terrible saturn you you are such a victim of speaking lies that 
sometimes you yourself forget that you are lying. Why am I saying that? Because Saturn is the significator of lies, deceit. Uh, not deceit exactly, that is more of Rahu, but Saturn also plays a part in that. Saturn is where you start and Rahu is where it ends. Yes, deceit. So, and Saturn is also the significator of uh, lies. Yes. So you speak so many lies. It has become kind of your second nature. Even sometimes not second nature. It has become a part of your own nature. You, it has become a part of you actually. Too many lies, my God. There's, there's no limit. It's like it has gone to such an extent that people are not able to understand that is there any time when you can speak the truth also? By mistake. <laughs> now in, in Hindi, if I say, I, it would be like, Galati se saj bol diya. <laughs> Kabhi se galti bhi nahi hota hai. By mistake also, it doesn't speak the truth. You are the most untrustworthy fellow in this planet. What is another symptom? Another symptom is you will always delegate responsibilities. Should I repeat? You will always delegate responsibilities. What is the meaning of the word delegate? Delegate means you will give your responsibilities to others. Uh, <laughs> What is another symptom? Another symptom is you wait till it reaches your neck. Yes. Suppose you are in a project part. Uh, you, are, you are in a project. You are in a group. Then what happens? You divide the responsibilities. Yes. Whenever something comes, you do. Whenever something comes, the other person also does. But you will not do it unless the other person keeps pushing you. Unless he tells you, my dear sir, my work is done. What about you? Have you started? Till the time the rod is not shown, you do not get back to work. What is another symptom? Whenever responsibility comes, you run away. Uh, there was this example of a person who... Has, who, whose wife and his mother used to quarrel very much in home. Somehow, I made a video on that. <laughs> How to solve conflicts between wife and mother. Yes. If you have not watched it, then please go and watch it. It is there in this playlist only. Wife and mother-in-law conflicts. Why that happens? What is the solution? But what this person did was, Due to some reason, his wife and his mother used to quarrel all the time. And as a man, it is his responsibility. Of course, you cannot avoid every quarrel. That's simply not possible. And it depends on the maturity of the girl and the mother also. Yes. Everything cannot be achieved. But at least what he did, that was perhaps the worst thing that any man can do. Imagine the situation of the girl. What this person did was... Whenever he will see that his wife and his mother are fighting, he will simply say, Oh, you keep fighting, I am leaving. Uh, it's typical, another symptom. He will let his wife and his mother go into this terrible mess. He should ideally step in. Yes. Of course, that doesn't mean that he will be able to solve each and every conflict. But what he is doing, that is also unreasonable. You may not be able to solve every conflict, but you just cannot ignore that thing and run away from your responsibilities. It is your responsibility to maintain a harmony within the home. Yes. And the problem is this person doesn't even try also. And this was told to me by one of my friend. His sister is the wife of this person so and then my friend is like my god what an unfortunate brother-in-law i have got <laughs> in hindi you say na jija 
जीजा तो प्रॉब्लम है व्हाट इज अनदर सिम्टम देर आर सो मेनी सिम्टम्स ऑफ टेरिबल सैटर्न अनदर सिम्टम इज एंड दिस इज प्रोबेबली द लास्ट आई विल टेल consistency is zero in you consistency is indolence it's in the, it, it is below the poverty line <laughs> today you go to the gym and tomorrow you are like no man i don't want to go i don't like acting i hate the gym today you will start chanting this mantra maybe om namah shivaya or whatever some mantra or maybe om shivaya namah <laughs> and then what happens after some time you are like no man it's taking a long time it's difficult i'm not doing it anymore yes that is another symptom and another symptom is you waste your resources should i repeat you waste your resources like i always give the example in the last video i told there's one girl who once told me that she finished the uh, chemistry syllabus of 12th standard in 3 months <laughs> yes that's terrible actually that hap- that can happen when your jupiter and mercury is well placed that can happen your grasping power may be very strong your ability to retain knowledge in a short time can be very strong but that does not necessarily mean it will give you benefit in the long run yes 3 months you have finished the chemistry syllabus what have you done for the last 9 months you have simply wasted time and you just ended up doing things at the last moment and then you thought you are a great person you are aggrandizing about it you are boasting about it yes <laughs> so these are the symptoms of a difficult afflicted terrible malefic satan now the question is how to solve this problem what to do satan is very badly placed in our chart yes where does saturn gets exalted saturn gets exalted in the sign of libra libra is what libra is the sign of venus it is the sign of balance yes oh yeah and before concluding i would also say because saturn also shows discipline so there's zero discipline which is like the same no consistency in you yes and at the end if you see libra it is the mudrikon sign of venus and libra is ruled uh, by venus that means for saturn to well function in the sign of libra which is its exaltation in swati nakshatra we all know about it saturn in libra basically means that the person is very balanced he gives everything its own due its due due <laughs> that is why saturn gets exalted there but there is a prerequisite for saturn to be exalted in libra the dispositor of the sign of exaltation which is venus that has to be well placed that means your area of venus has to be under control which is what sexuality if you are losing too much of semen the virya the vitality then your saturn will be in <laughs> your saturn will be the worst planet in the chart try to control and not waste semen especially for men i am saying and also for women the vitality is very important to maintain because that is only to be used for producing children it's not meant to be wasted those people who do this you can see all the beautiful symptoms manifesting in them all of them one by one i am saying but then the question is how to control the flow of semen that is a big topic it's very simple where does venus gets exalted in the sign of pisces so when you follow spirituality when you 
include God in your life, when you read the divine scriptures, when you chant mantras, when you associate with holy people, when you take prasad, these are the holy activities. When you go to the temple, see the beautiful form of deities of Krishna, Ram, Vishnu or Shiva, Ganesh, whoever you identify with. You, you naturally are very happy and then a happy person is always very balanced. Yes, So that is the secret of improving your Saturn. Because you cannot be balanced unless you are happy. Libra is the sign of balance. But how can you be balanced? Suppose you are very miserable, you are in depression. Then you will go on the other extremes. You will either go and take alcohol or you will go into sugar addiction. Yes, sugar will be, day and night you will be eating sugar or you will be drinking or you will indulge in pornography or worst case maybe prostitution or extramarital affair or too much masturbation or if it becomes more perverse then attraction to the same sex yes then in worst case maybe animals and then I know one person who used to get attracted to non-living objects also can you imagine the moment he sees water he feels agitation that means his sexuality has gone so rampant so out of control that he not only feels attraction for human beings, <laughs> in that everybody is included, even his mother, because he used to tell me that he does not go home. Because if he goes home, the moment he sees his mother, he will get bad thoughts. Can you imagine? This is the level of perversity which is there in the person. The only good thing about the person is he is to some extent honest. <laughs> He keeps telling me, okay, this happened, that happened, I did this, I did that. <laughs> he doesn't hide that at least. But anyways, coming back to the topic, if your sexuality is uh, going uh, haywire, then that which means you are losing too much of uh, the semen which is there in your body, then uh, you cannot be balanced because to compensate that, you will eat sugar. Because you want to feel good. Yes. Or you will watch series in the internet like Game of Thrones. Yes. <laughs> because see, you have to compensate that void. If you are losing your vitality and then you feel very die, you feel as if you are dying, you feel as if you are depressed, you feel as if the world has come to an end. And then what do you do? You have to revamp that inside you and that you do by artificial sources alcohol sugar cocaine drugs endless to more therefore spiritual cultivation of god consciousness which helps us to connect to our divine source is very important there you go that is the solution of a afflicted debilitated miserable terrible unhappy unworthy Saturn. Alright, that is it from my side. If you have any questions, queries or comments related to this video, then please let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with others. Okay. Until next time, wish you good luck with your afflicted Saturn. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you.